got my cylinder head all put together. I just got done installing my uh, valve springs and the retainers. And while well, I got the uh, hang up on my rocker arms, because I was doing some inspection and I happened to uh, glance on this wear. Yeah, it looks like the, the cams already have some uh, full bodied contact on this. It start to dig in. Today's episode is I'm going to show you how I am going to repair those wares. I have done this in the past and I never had any problem with it. Um, the reason why I'm sharing you guys about this one is if you ever find one of those wear on your rocker arms, uh, you really have to do something about it. So either you get something... Uh, a replacement for it or just simply use whatever you have and just repair it like what I'm going to show you and also you know how you uh, adjust your valves on the H22 I think it's uh, from six to seven thousand and exhaust is uh, seven to eight thousand well if you have this wear on your rocker arms you are getting an incorrect settings as far as the valve lash yeah you're gonna end up having a less it's because of those grooves it's already uh the cam lobes is already digging into it uh let me show you a prime example of course when you have a filler gauge uh, let's just say that this is a six thousand or seven thousand right and you're doing it from from this side from the inside right inside out well the size of your filler gauge that the, how wide it is is almost the same size as the lobe itself right there but it's a little bit on a smaller side or one side is a little bit smaller this one So if you have a wear like this, worse than this one, that's something when you uh, rub your fingernails and it got hanged up, then yeah, it's no good because as you can see, right? Your filler gauge, 6,000 is not going to bend to that groove. And also what you're checking is the flat side on this side, not the lobe. So when that lobe happens to be pushing that rocker arm, it's pushing on that groove. It's not on the flat side. So you are getting less as far as like the uh, opening of either your uh, intake or exhaust valves. I did one here. I just recently uh, polished this one. Yeah how am i gonna repair that is i'm just using a a grinder with the finest uh sandpaper i could use and i'm just gonna simply polish it i'm gonna polish it in a way because the padding is not really flat it's more like it's a dome so i have to uh do it to contour the pad See, it's in the, yeah, it's like a dome. But you'll see what I mean after I get done with this, after I polish this thing. Um, what am I gonna say? Uh, this is not an approved method, but it worked out for me just fine. After I have repaired the previous motor that I built, it never occurred after that. Um, how you end up that cams or the lobes digging into this rocker, it's either lack of lubrication, uh, you're running out of oil, or you don't uh, change the oil as it should be every 3,000 miles or something, or whichever comes first. Yeah, pretty much like it's lack of oil. Yeah. Lack of lubrication. Okay, enough talking and uh, 
Let me repair this. Safety glasses first. Okay. Like this one here, man. Yeah, this thing is bad, dude. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to contour it. See those marks? Yeah, you can still see it. This one is really bad. I don't know the history of this uh, rocker. I mean the cylinder head. I just got this off from the junkyard. So if you are not comfortable of doing this, so you just simply get a new set of, or a used rocker arm. But like I said, I have done this before and it never happened after that. <laughs> it may be like 1,000 or 2,000 of an inch or something. Yeah. If you have a belt sander, it will be better. That way you just hold on to this and you just glide it. All right, let me do the rest of this and I'll be back. And next up will be, I'll show you how I polish it, okay? Uh, one thing I noticed is uh, this big one right here. There's a line, the wear is right in the middle. You see that line in the middle? Let me see if I get the camera, I can pick it up. Yeah, the wear is right in the middle. Right in that area right there. It goes across. So I'm gonna try to hit that again. Come back to it. This is before. That's how it looks. Right there. So it's like it's nothing happened. So I still have a lot of things to do here, so I'll be back. Finally got all those nasty grooves out of there. Uh, the idea of this repair is not to bring it better than OE. It's just simply bring it back to how it was without those grooves. So I say it's not bad. So next up is I'm going to clean all this thing up. 
spray some brake cleaner on there and put it on the cylinder head. Well, before I end this video, if you guys will ever put on a cylinder head, just make sure to check those rocker arms. And don't be afraid as far as like the repair. Yeah. Or if you're not confident enough, you can simply just replace it. Just get a, buy something from eBay or something. But save you money right there. It's just a simple repair. Polish it up. Yeah. So next up would be onto the block. So the stroker will be fully built. And of course, I got a few parts here that uh, just came in. And I got the headers here. And also some RBC intake manifold. I just want to try it out. See what the hype is about. I know this will... Uh, Huh, I'll be fighting for clearance or something. I don't know. I'll think of something. Maybe I'll just cut it off and modify it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, my main concern is finish this up so you guys could see it. And also, <laughs> I sure would like to see your build get done together with this one here. Again, before I end it, the restrictor. Bam. Right there. It's all good. Thanks for watching guys. So hot today. We're having a heat wave here. I think it's over probably for well, this weekend. They said about uh, triple digits. We'll see. Bye everyone. See you guys back. Take care. Like and share and hit that uh, thumbs button man. Leave a comment. Yo, remember this? Make sure you have this thing. Huh, I think I got the wrong seal on there or something. Yeah, it's too big. <laughs>